Hello, I'm Steve Goff at Little River Research and Design, and this is a video introduction to our new Alex Digital Flow Controller. Used with our Emriver Geo models, the Alex controller enables precise control and measurement of flow, automatic running of flow regimes and hydrographs, and has a USB output that enables digital control of all these functions. By providing precise control and measurement of flow in our models, the controller makes advanced teaching and research much easier. The controller can be used both with our M2 and our new 3 meter M3 models. We developed the Alex controller over many months of research and design effort. When we learned there was no cost effective off the shelf solution for flow measurement in our models, we designed our own. The controller can measure flow rates within a few percent and uses the model's pump as a flow sensor, reducing cost and maintenance problems. The system uses a custom circuit board designed by colleague Chris Alex, hence the controller's name, and is based on easy to use Arduino open source hardware and software. Our custom code is also open source, enabling users to modify the controller as they wish. We build the controllers in-house and are proud of the great technical effort required to design and build these rugged instruments. This video will show you how the Alex controller works and how to use it with your Emriver Geo models. Let's start by reviewing the components of this Emriver M2 Geo model. They include the pump and reservoir, the tubing, and the box where the geomorphologic magic happens. Water flows through the standpipe back to the reservoir. Here is a simple block diagram with the Alex controller added. Also the reservoir, pump, tubing, box, and standpipe. They work together like this. The power supply takes wall current and converts it to 12 volts DC for the controller. The controller generates a signal it sends to the pump to control its speed. The signal can also be used to measure flow rate. When the pump turns, it sends water through the tubing, box, standpipe, and back to the reservoir. You can use the controller to measure and control flow rates through your experiments in the box. The top line of the display on the controller shows flow rate in milliliters per second. On the bottom line, you see cumulative flow in liters and also the runtime. The controller has a bracket on its back that allows it to sit anywhere on the M2's railing. To begin, connect the pump and power supply connectors to the controller. Mind the color-coded connectors and don't mix these up. Gently tap or shake the pump in the reservoir to release air bubbles from the filter and run the pump to remove them from the line. You must do this before calibrating the controller because air in the system greatly degrades flow measurement precision. Before each use, you must calibrate the controller if you need precise flow measurement. Calibration adjusts the controller for wear in the pump differing volumes of water in the system, and other factors that may affect flow measurement precision. It's very quick and easy. To do this, carefully adjust flow with the controller so that you have near zero flow from the outlet. To be sure you have this, move the knob back and forth between zero flow and the lowest flow possible. Ignore the flow readings on the controller. When you have the lowest possible flow, press the knob to enter the controller menu navigate to calibrate, and press the knob again. Your controller is now calibrated. Next, we'll look at other menu items. These include exit, reset counters, which resets the totalized flow in time, free run, which turns off the pump and allows manual control of flow with the knob, full power, which turns the pump to maximum speed, and hydrographs, which we'll cover next. There are six hydrographs programmed into the controller. Details, including a spreadsheet with all values and teaching tips, can be found on our website. To run a hydrograph, navigate to it and press the control knob. The hydrograph will then run automatically. You'll hear a beep each time the controller moves from one flow value to the next. Though the controller is very rugged, you may damage it if you connect it incorrectly. So take care with this don't mix up the connectors. It is splash proof, but it's not submersible. So don't take it swimming or drop it into the reservoir. 
Use of the USB port on the controller requires knowledge and skills in serial communications and the Arduino programming environment. See our website. And thanks for your interest in our M-River Geo models.